We are back with more on the fallout from the Japanese earthquake. You're seeing a live shot of Tokyo. I want to welcome by phone Takuchi Okubo. He is the uh, chief economist for Japan at Societe Generale. He is in Tokyo this morning. Takuchi, thanks so much for joining us. I want to talk uh, about the economic impact this earthquake may have on Japan. Japan gets a lot of earthquakes. You've had much chance over time as a country, uh, and I'm sure you have as well, to assess the impact. Tell us how you think this is going to play out. Okay. Uh, the economic impact uh, in the short term, to say for like March as an example, I'm sure this earthquake will uh, reduce uh, Japanese uh, manufacturing output for, the, for March. I would say this could reduce perhaps uh, one to two day worth of our production, and uh, that's, all, that's already three to six percent. But I would say that would really be the maximum loss, and uh, I, would, I would suspect the real loss in the output would be much smaller. One example is uh, back in 1995, we have actually, uh, pre I would say, severe earthquake, uh, not in terms of magnitude, but in terms of economic impact. Uh, so there was an earthquake in 1995, which hit Kobe. Uh, where, and then in that earthquake, uh, over uh, 5,000 people perished. So, and then there was a um, consequent economic impact. But then when we look at, say, industrial productions for, Ma, uh, for, the, for January 1995, when it took place, uh, it fell by 2.6%, but it bounced right back. So, it's, so the bottom line is, is Takuchi, that it's easy to overestimate the impact of an earthquake because you see all these terrifying images, the tsunami in the north, uh, the fireball at the oil refinery outside Tokyo, but some of this could be quite temporary. And then what happens is uh, Japan, Japan, to a certain degree, is going to have to uh, rebuild. Uh, what implications does that have for the economy? Exactly. So um, it's difficult to estimate the economic uh, impact uh, right now. But I would say, well, let's, let's go back to the, again, the example back in 1995. In uh, that time, uh, uh, the economic loss was uh, estimated to be about 10 trillion, which is about 2% of GDP. Um, so I would say this, this, the economic impact would definitely not exceed that of uh, 1995. So I would say, I, I would say 1% to GDP worth could be a good, um, good ball, you know, ballpark number. Okay, now, is the spending that the Japanese government and Japanese companies is going to have to undertake, uh, will that be stimulative in a sense? The Japanese economy, as we all know, could use a shot in the arm. And I, I just, I want to try and get that insight. We, we obviously, we know there's a loss of life, we know there are casualties, but in the long run, uh, is it possible that this could in some way help the country? Yeah. Um, yeah, um, I wouldn't say long run, but uh, in the like medium term, say like for for example, like this year's GDP growth is concerned, or perhaps uh, uh, April June GDP quarter is concerned. This will actually definitely be a positive for the Japanese economy's growth. For example, again back in 1995, Japanese GDP grew by 2.6 percent in 1995. So you could actually say that the earthquake was, you know, ironically positive for. The, you know, medium term growth. All right, Takuji, thanks so much for joining us. On such short notice, Takuji Okubo is the chief Japanese economist at Societe Generale, joining us from Tokyo. And